Hey Floss Tube, Vanessa here, aka the Singing Stitcher, coming at you from a new location. My messy bedroom. No, I'm not gonna pan away from this, cause I'm a grown up who doesn't make her bed. Yeah. So all I did was move the the messy bed sheets. Anyway, I'm here to show you a finish. There we go. This is for my cousin's baby boy. And it's stitched on 18 count white. And what I did for anything that was white on white is I backstitched it. So it would actually stand out. So there's a finish. And I have a new start. <clears throat> Clouds Factory Frozen. And I'm actually doing this on an 18 count black. Now, this is the first time I've used 18 count in black. Anything else I've done in black before has been on 14 count, so it's been a heck of a lot easier to see. Uh, the reason I chose black is because, um, you may or may not know, but Elsa is really freaking pale. So to put her on white would just be ridiculous. So, here in this character, I think her name is Anna, I'm missing a bright blue. I bought that. And here in this character, he's missing a bright blue as well, but I have that. So I've got, oh, I'm going to say, I don't know, two more whole characters to go. And I have to do the antlers on the reindeer and fill in those two missing colors and then do some backstitching. So I'm doing pretty good on this. This is for my cousin's middle child. I'm one of those bad people I did a cross stitch for the first child. Nothing for the second. And then the boy inspired me to do one. So you can't give one to child one and child three and not to child two. So this is for child two. So yeah, that was the finish and the new start. Now for a haul. And I'm wrestling around here because I gotta find this stuff so I can do this in the appropriate order. Okay. Um, I was just recently in British Columbia for vacation. My in-laws live in Kelowna. And so we drove from Nanton to Kelowna. It probably took about 11 hours because we took a longer route. But um, I did a bit of research before we left and found a few stores that claim to sell stitchy stuff. So this first, first batch is from Country Quilts and Collectibles. They're located in Vernon, BC. And let's see, what did I get? I have piece of 14 count. It is 15 by 18 and the color is light sea foam. And really I just justified it by saying, hey, I don't have that color. We have a piece of 18 count yellow. I didn't have that color either, so that worked. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I got a piece. Let's see if she named it for me. Because I'm kind of... Seafoam, light yellow. Yeah, this is, I believe, 18 count. Let me just see if I can look at it closer. Actually, be 14. Yeah, that is a piece that is 51 inches long. And I think it says it's platinum. But that doesn't make sense because I think that's platinum. Oh, look! A tag! Yes! This is 18 count platinum. So I got a piece of that. And then, what is this? Well, according to her receipt, this is 16 count white, but the tag on the uh, on the actual fabric says it's 18 count, so I'm good with that. So yes, I got some some fabric cut off the bolt. I've never done that before. That was pretty cool. So this was at a quilting store. Now, what else did I find there? Um, I found some Karen wa water lilies. Just one that I liked. It's called pistachio. So let me just put it against the white here and it might be easier for you to see. See? 
What do we think of that? It's quite nice. I don't have a need for it. I just wanted it. So then I needed uh, that. <laughs> I did. I actually needed it. It is color 3843 and I needed that for Frozen. So that would be the shade of blue. So I got two of those. And look, it's a dog. Hey Lola. Hi baby. Get off of my stuff. There. There's a good girl. Stay. Stay. You be good. Yeah. I know the world revolves around you, but not right now. Okay, so, yeah. Hi. Uh-oh, she's interrupting. Apparently I need to pet her. Yes, I do. I do. Who can resist this? Who? Who can really resist this? Hi. Hi. This is Lola. Yes. Can you get down? Please. I know. I know. Thanks for burping. Okay, so, oh, she's nudging the, my hand here. So I got some more DMC. Is 125. I'm just gonna put these all on the white so we can see them better. Basically, I got the DMC variegated because I didn't have them. The store did, so it worked for me. I don't know that you care enough for, for me to actually go through and tell you the color numbers, but that's what I got there. So, hello, Lola. Hello, baby. I know. I know you don't understand. I know. I get it. I get it. Hi. Hi. Can we go flop? No? Oh! You're gonna go flop right there. Okay. So, that was... Let me find my receipt again. Look. Look at me. I'm so cute. Okay, so again, that was from Country Quilts and Collectibles in Vernon, B.C. Now, in doing my research, basically I found quilting stores or sewing stores, and I sent them an email. Yes, you're cute, and you have a pretty pink belly. So yes, I did research, and I sent emails to these stores to see if they actually sold cross-stitch supplies. And there was a store in Penticton mm. called Cedars Sewing Center. Hi, Lo Lola. You, you're kind of in the way. Yeah, that's it. Walk right over my fabric and floss. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So, Cedars Sewing Center in Penticton, British Columbia. I sent them an email asking if they sold cross-stitch supplies, and I said, you know, DMC floss, Ada cloth, patterns, etc. And the email response I got said they specialize in cross-stitch. So, I was excited. In fact, I even posted in the Stitch Mania group on Facebook that I was really excited because I was visiting my first LNS. Nope! See this little bag? This is all I got. So. For some reason, I felt like, oh yeah, there's a pattern I needed, E677. Um, this is the other color I needed for Frozen. It is 3852. Let me just put that on the white bag. You'll see it better. So I got two skeins of that. And then I needed some Mill Hill beads. That is all I bought. Because Cedar Sewing Center, as the name would imply. Oh, I'm moving a lot. I'm really sorry. Is for sewing. They sell sewing machines and notions and things like that. And so, let me tell you, from a customer service perspective, lying to a customer about specializing in cross-stitch is insane. They had DMC. They had some really old dimensions kits. They had Mill Hill, but not all of them. That was it. That is not, I repeat, not what I would consider a store that specializes in cross stitch. So that was Cedar Sewing Center. My next shop was actually in Kelowna. Let me get the receipt so I can read it here, if I can. Yes, this was Kelowna Yarn and Needle Crafts. Now, obviously, for the name, one would gather that they sell knitting and crochet supplies. But they also sell needle crafts. So, I bought a piece of fabric cut off the bolt. I know, holy crap. It's like a... A topi? Mom. Kind of a dark 
beige, maybe a sand, and that's 18 count. And then what else did I buy? Oh, look, I was dumb. And I bought the same thing. Actually, they call this, what is the color? Pebble gray. Yeah, I bought the same thing as a remnant because I wasn't paying attention. Um, I was on the hunt for some specific uh, dental art sampler threads. Um, and I honestly can't even remember what pattern they were for now. But uh, I needed old brick. And I needed baby spinach. So, because I could, I got two skeins of both. So that I looked out there, for sure. And then, I bought another mirror blue that I... Or, well, technically it's an Oracle, but... Yes. What is her name? Let me look. Let me look. Her name is Jasmine. And she's from the Pixie Couture Collection. So let me see if I can... There we go. Oh, that's not focusing at all. That's crap. How's that? Better? So yes. Nora Corbett's Jasmine. Um, they had a lot of Mirabilia Nora Corbett's. They had a lot of patterns. I was quite impressed. Um, there was, is, a stitchy store in Kelowna called Hummingbird Crafts, I think. Um, Unfortunately, she is retiring and going out of business and has changed her phone number and is open by appointment only. But uh, that is where Kelowna Yarn and Needle Crafts got their specialty threads from. And they said if I needed more, they could call her and get them. Um, but I, at this point, I was really, I was disappointed in what I found. Um, I don't know if it's because I live in Western Canada or didn't get out to Vancouver or Victoria. Um, I have not gone to, to, to traditional stitches. I understand that is an LNS. Um, people say it's in Calgary, but it's actually not. Um, it's northwest of Calgary. It's a small town, hamlet, whatever you want to call it, uh, called Bear's Paw. So, and I live an hour south of the city, so for me to go in the complete opposite direction to get something is kind of silly, but I one of these days I'm going to have to. Yeah. There's also a store in Lethbridge, Alberta that uh, I'm going to have to go to. But other than that, I'm pretty much stuck ordering things online from the U.S. And it sucks because currently the Canadian dollar is 75 cents. So our exchange rate is abysmal. So purchasing anything online other than the few things I purchased for my husband for Christmas is kind of kiboshed right now because, yeah. So yeah, that was my holiday haul. You, yeah, you can totally call it a holiday haul. It's not bad, honestly. I, I got some good fabric and I got the DMCs I wanted, or sorry, needed. Uh, I got a couple of the specialty threads that I, I needed for another project. Um, so all in all, it wasn't a total failure. But yeah, I still have yet to break my LNS cherry, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Lola's getting in the way over here again. Oh, and my timer's going. So that means dinner's ready. Yes. So I want to say to everyone, thank you for subscribing. Can I speak? subscribing, liking, commenting. I know I'm absolutely horrible at replying to comments. I just figured out how to do that on my iPad. Yeah, I'm a noob. So, hi. And I'm also way, way behind on watching videos. Yeah. Catching up. Yeah, I'm going alphabetically through my subscriptions list and I'm just watching every video that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. So, I hope everybody's having a great stitchy day, stitchy week, stitchy weekend, whenever it is you're going to watch this. Today is Wednesday, it is the end of the day, it's actually 7 o'clock here, 7pm, so yeah, I'm going to go and eat dinner, um, I'm going to upload this tomorrow when I get to work, so I hope everyone is well and take care, bye!